Louisiana has been losing shoreline and ocean habitat at an accelerated pace. This week, a new artificial reef being built in Timberlear Bay is trying to slow and reverse the course. That's right. In our forecasting our future series, meteorologist Devin Lucy headed out on a boat to show you how it all works. The natural stuff that's here is just going away faster and faster, faster than these things are coming. <laughs> Chad Billiard describes how Hurricane Zeta and Ida changed the seascape for his charter fishing business in Leeville. So there was many, many islands that held fish, perfect estuaries for them to spawn, for them to reproduce, for them to eat, and for us to fish off of. And now, Pelican Island is gone. But with help from the Coastal Conservation Association, the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, the Danos Company, and Chevron, Cajun Coral is coming to the rescue. Created by Danos, Pelican Island Reef will be made of 340 3D printed concrete pieces. Right behind us, that's the Cajun Coral, 3D printed. A few hundred pounds of concrete sits right on the ocean floor, and you give it a few weeks to a few months, and that is a fully producing coral reef. The new reef will bolster biodiversity by providing new habitats that will attract and support a variety of fish species. This reef will be the 49th unique artificial reef the Coastal Conservation Association of Louisiana has built and the ninth artificial reef built this year. And along with providing a sustainable habitat, it will also serve as a living lab. By teaming up with the Water Institute, organizations and universities across the country and around the world will be able to study how the ecosystem develops and evolves. It will also serve as a test bed for what works best in developing an artificial reef and what doesn't. Mother Nature is taking land and fish habitat away and we're doing everything we can to recreate it and make a sustainable fishery. The more habitat we can restore is just one more piece of the puzzle that when it gets put all together helps benefit us all. For forecasting our future, I'm meteorologist Devin Lucy for WDSU. Once the construction is complete, the Coastal Conservation Association will share GPS coordinates. For more information about the project and the Reef Louisiana program, you can visit WDSU.com.